What's going on guys? Last night's WWE Monday Night Raw edition, December 29th, 2014, concluding WWE for the year. We had Edge and Christian reunite to host the show. They announced some matches, attempted a five second pose, but they were interrupted by the Beast Incarnate, the champion himself, Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman, which were then interrupted by John Cena rose above hate trying to attack Paul Heyman which made Brock Lesnar charge Cena and Cena picked up Brock about to give him an attitude adjustment but uh Brock Lesnar struggled out of it got out of it somehow and struggled but made their way out of the ring himself and Paul running away getting to their own defense first match of the night we had IC champion Dolph Ziggler defeating the champion Rusev in a non-title champion versus champion match. Ziggler won because of disqualification after Rusev refused to stop kicking Ziggler as he was in the corner. Rusev then after the match put Ziggler in a rope assisted accolade but Ryback ran out and made the save. Ryback took us on a video clip promo um just cut a huge promo about his past and stuff I didn't know like about tough enough Nexus, his surgery, and stuff like that. He actually mentioned his Nexus days as Skip Sheffield, so that was pretty solid. But I dig the promo. A lot of guys got a lot of mic time on uh, on Raw last night, and I really enjoyed it. So um, hopefully they get some more mic time very soon. And Ryback Rusev, this feud is uh, continuing on, and we'll see what uh, what happens next. Nikki Bella, the Divas champion, defeated Natalya with a rack attack after Natalya was distracted by Tyson Kidd. The Usos became the new tag team champions, defeating the Miz and Mizdow after a double super kick into a splash from Jimmy Uso onto the Miz, becoming the new tag team champion. So that's pretty solid. Usos tag team champions once again. So we'll see how uh, Miz and Mizdow react to losing the titles. Cesaro was in the ring cutting a promo about saying um, that. He doesn't care about any of the fans. He just cares about working hard every single night and stealing the show. Kind of like what Ziggler does, but uh, Cesaro said he continues working hard no matter what creative has for him, no matter what people say and stuff like that. And BNB, Bad News Bear, interrupted and said that he has something for Cesaro, and that's a bullhammer. A returning Bad News Bear was able to defeat Cesaro after hitting the bullhammer like he said. Luke Harper defeated Jack Swagger with the clothesline from Smell, as JBL called it. Quick little match there. Roman Reigns defeated Seth Rollins because of a disqualification. Roman Reigns hit Rollins with a Superman punch, got ready for the spear, but before he could, the Big Show, who was a special guest on commentary, pulled Roman Reigns from the ring, threw him across the announce table, and flipped the table on top of him, similar to what Reigns did to Big Show last week. Daniel Bryan made a special announcement last night on Raw. A couple of you guys were nervous. I was certainly nervous. I thought it was the end for Daniel Bryan. I thought Daniel Bryan was going to hang up the boots. But Daniel Bryan came out to the ring. He did discuss his future. But um, he said it's not time for him to hang up the boots. He's in the Royal Rumble. 2015 January, the first pay-per-view of next year. WWE Royal Rumble. Daniel Bryan's in it. He's A-OK, -okay and uh, he could possibly win the match, so we'll see what happens. But Daniel Bryan's certainly not hanging up the boots, certainly not done yet, and uh, he's ready for the Rumble. The Ascension made their debut, putting uh, Miz and Mizdow away with their finisher, Fall of Man. Now, this was an extremely quick match. Um, the Ascension made their uh, the debut and defeated Miz and Mizdow, who lost twice last night on Raw. Miz and Mizdow backstage. We're asking Edge and Christian for a rematch for the titles. Edge and Christian said, I'll give you a match, not a rematch, but not, or I'll give you a match, not a title match, but it's not versus the Usos either. It was with the Ascension. The Ascension was victorious on their first night on Raw. Edge and Christian co-hosted a special first ever edition of the Cutting Edge Peep Show. Seth Rollins accompanied by Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury were the uh, special guests. They started about saying that Seth had the best year of all the superstars, then brought out the Big Show. Seth Rollins and casually invited John Cena to the ring. Cena refused to come out, 
So Seth and Big Show attacked Edge and Christian. Seth was about to give Edge a curb stomp, but Cena comes back. Seth Rollins told Cena not to come in the ring. Still had his uh, his boot over Edge's neck, his injured neck. Was about to give him a curb stomp unless Cena did what Seth Rollins wanted. And that was to bring back Triple H and Stephanie McMahon of the Authority. Time after time of the hanging boot over Edge's neck, Cena brought back the Authority. Cena tried to attack Rollins. But Rollins gave a huge curb stomp to John Cena. Raw then closed with Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar coming out, and then Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, the authority. Cena brought them back to save his friend Edge from getting a vicious curb stomp from Seth Rollins. So Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, Lesnar, and Heyman came out to celebrate with Seth Rollins, J&J Security, and The Big Show at the top of the ramp. Hands held high, smiling faces, concluding 2014 for WWE. Hopefully you guys checked out last night's live reaction video. Um, that was post-Raw, after-Raw last night. And uh, yeah, just, just check my reaction out. Hopefully uh, you guys, uh, I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts, your comments on the final Raw of 2014. It wasn't bad other than the fact that the, uh, the Authority came back. Bad News Barrett returned. Daniel Bryan announced that he's in the rubble. Usos are the new tag team champions. And the Ascension over from NXT made their debut. So pretty solid Raw to conclude the year. We got Raw next week. 2015 first Raw of the year. With uh, Triple H and Stephanie seeming to be uh, back in control. We'll see you guys.